Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everybody's okay. And as you're watching this one go around, I'd like to thank uh, all my new subscribers and all my regular subscribers. Thanks for sticking with me and thanks for joining me. Any comments I'll try and answer within the week or any questions that you've got, I'll do my best to answer them. So, what we have here? It's a very early Dinkies um, speaker van. So we've got this one to do. Straightforward, I'm going to do a straightforward restoration on this. No extra bling on it. And uh, here we go. So we'll get it off the magic. And we'll have a look at it. Let's have a look then. Yeah, I'm still on the tablet. For now. I'm doing a couple of videos. Um, of easy ones at the minute so here we've got it this is the dinky toys it's got no base it's just a uh, holes through here and these aren't crimped axles these are normal peened over axles as you can see which is pretty good those ones go through the back wheel arch they made quite a few of these different colors and later on they did ones without that on just delivery vans without that one but this normally comes with, sometimes the speakers are broken off one side or the other. But this is pretty good. It's in a blue with some lighter blue hubs. So it should be a straightforward paint job. So there we go. There we have it. Uh, I can't remember off how what the number is. I will check and let you know as we progress through the build. It just says in the bottom, I don't know if you can quite actually see that. But it says in the bottom, Dinky Toys, Made in England, Meccano Limited. Okay. And to get the speaker off, there's a rivet just there. You can see where my screwdriver is there, just there. So we'll have that off. We'll grind down the ends of these, and get these off. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. You know, um, getting these off is fairly easy. You pick the to get these off. You pick the 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 thinnest end with no hardly any meat or peen over on it you can see that end and if you can see the two ends this end's got more on it than that end i'll push it through with my finger you'll probably see better you can see okay so you always go for the one with the the least on all right i imagine that's what we did at the factory they probably came as rods with uh, a heavy flattened a heavy peened over end and then they just went on the machine and knocked these end in so there you go, that's what we've got. Not sure about the back. Yeah, it's got a little peen on the back, not a lot. I would say you could probably, I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, you could split that and pull that apart, but I'm not gonna, I would say it's a bit tight to be pulling that apart. Right, I'll get these axles off and the speakers off. Here's the parts then, got that off. Right, what I did, this is a, a square rather than a rivet. So I had to grind that off from inside there. I don't know if you can see that, inside there. So that was quite uh, quite tough, that one. Just ground it with a grinding wheel, a grind, ground it with a grinding wheel, uh, and then it just pushed out, pulled, it poked out. I've got to get my words mixed up. Yeah, so that'll clean up. They're going to caustic and then it'll get re redone, bare metal, I would say. The back axle, I did prise it out. I had a closer look at it and uh, there is no peenovers on this. So I did actually manage to get a screwdriver in and just tweak it and they just popped out. So that's the way to do these, the backs of these. The front, I did grind out, as you can see. I ground that out and it needs flip straight and it's a bit bent so there we have it so we've got the body shell got the wheels axles and the speakers so we'll get caustic soda in and then we'll see what it looks like okay check it out done the body the roof was quite rough so I used my uh, latest 
present from Mr. Pete and uh, give that a good old sanding across the roof because it's a bit pitted got some of it off I'm not going to take all the pitting out because it's uh, I, I believe at the age of the model it'll be good for um, patina uh, you start putting and I think you know it'll look nice so tell you what you know dinky they put some work into this so that back door all around the, the hinges the top the bottom handle round number plate we've got the lines across, going across the back there um, some sort of light or it's a fuel filler pattern I'm not sure what that is um, door handles door hinges they've even got the the uh, side bonnet flutes going down there the grills you know I'm so tempted I'll tell you you don't know how tempted I am to put details on this fill the grill in do the lights you know do everything on it but I'm not going to if I get another one I might but I've only got one of these so I'm going to do it do a do a proper restoration do a sympathetic restoration like I did with the with the truck last week right okay wheels they're all done they're on the cocktail six ready for painting so the first job is degreasing methylated spirits if you got it if you haven't used any degreaser okay so I'm going to get you degreased get some primer on I'll see you in a minute okay okay then all primed up come out quite nice nice and smooth Roo come out better than it was right okay that's ready for painting and I'm going to be using this Ford Rimini Blue uh, on the um, in the books and catalogs it just says dark blue so uh, this was as near as I got to it I didn't want to go midnight blue or any darker than this and the hubs they're a light blue so I've got you can use any light blue I suppose um, so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to get this painted now uh, unfortunately I can't put my tablet in my tripod because it's not big enough tripod so I'm going to get this painted uh, where's the I've got the speakers here somewhere yeah I've got to finish cleaning them up I'll do that while the paint's drying and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do these natural or they were supposed to be silver um, I'm going to clean them up with a wire wheel and see how they look if not I'm going to put a coat of like an, uh, a silver or an aluminium on it or something like that okay right that's it then painted that's the blue come out quite nice there you go now the hubs are a lighter blue it doesn't show up that much on the camera but they are a light a shade lighter two different blues it's not as light as i should have picked really i didn't realize it was going to dry darker than that but it's okay it's okay so now i should have paint the details in the front grill and the front bumper that's it really i might do the door handles just to fancy it up uh, i put the front axle in already because uh, i needed the uh, block to paint this over with uh, i have a metal block here i'll just show you, but it's holding my tablet at the minute um i'll just if i pull it away you'll see I'll move that out of the way you'll see that's the metal block that i use for painting over my axles and what I basically i use this hammer because it's got a nice flat edge to it <coughs> and that punch which you can buy sets of these in three three sets of different sizes we use those i've got a couple of sets of these um and i just basically tap down the end i usually get that on the edge something like that put a bit of paper over there and a card over the edge there and then just tap it flat keep tapping it flat bang 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 like that until you get a nice bit of a a peony edge and then i get this and just tap it tap it so it goes into a, a like a, a mushroom effect it takes a bit of time without messing about 
but uh, if you do it steady, slow and steady, you'll get it. So I'm going to put this back in because so, it holds my tablet at the minute. That's the only thing I've got what can hold a tablet heavy enough. So that's where we're at. If I get positioned now, there you go. So that's where we're at. That's why I did that first because it'd be easier for me if I had the tablet at the other end facing forward, the bang in it would just shot it everywhere. So Right, so I'm going to do, before I put the back axle in, because all that does is just slides in and it just it's just a push fit, really. A grip a grip fit. Sorry, that's going out of focus here. Um, a grip fit. Give me a you, bugger. That's all cleaned up. Ready to go. So we're nearly there. There you go. So I'm just going to get a bit of paint on here. And we should be good to go. Quite a nice one, this one. Simple, again. But it's an oldie. That's why I'm not going to go mad with the details on it. Because it's a fairly old one. And I think it needs to be done reasonably correctly. I'm not saying perfect, but somewhere near. Yeah? So. Here we go. I don't know how it's going to be on here because... My, this, my hand will probably get in the way here, so I'm going to do a bit. See what I can do a bit. Try and keep my hand out of the way. There we go. Quite a big grill on this one. But it was all painted silver. So. Just take your time. Make sure you cover it all. Every paint. There it is. There we go. Looking good. Yeah, I think they made, if I can remember correctly, they made just a van, delivery van version of this. I think there's one on eBay for sale at the minute, actually. I might be having a bid on that one. I think it's the same casting without the speakers on. Hopefully, get back on the Capri next week. Well, after Wednesday, after I've uploaded this, um, get that finished. Well, that's the, that's the middle done. Well, I'm going to carry on and finish painting that. Okay, I've got that to do, and the bumper. And I'll probably do the door handles just for a little bit extra, not too much. And then we'll come back. All right. There you go. Grill and bumper painted. Not much to it. Like I said, I did the, I did the door handles. Couldn't resist it really. It's only the door handles. Yeah, so here we go. Now, try and oh, we get a bit of cloth. I don't want to get a bit of cloth. Put a bit of this down. I don't want to scratch the roof if you don't have to. It ain't a lot of good, will it? These axles have got, I'll get into the camera, you see about here they've got a little crimp in them that stops the wheel going too far in like that so anyway so we can get these in without scratching it shall we get 
see that. Hold on. I should go in there and I should be able to just pull that. There it goes. That's in. See? I don't know if you saw that with my fingers in a way, but that's in now. There you go. We're in, John. We're in. And with the speakers, it's quite a tight fit, so I'm not going to actually glue that in. I'm going to just push them in, because that's quite a tight fit. There you go. That's it. Done. Make sure they're lined up in the middle. Yep. Yeah. That's it. All done. All done. Right, we'll get it on the magic then, shall we? See what it looks like with the lights on it, the bright lights. This is what we started with. Old Dinky Toys uh, speaker van. Chipped up and play worn. So, now we can have a look where it looks like all finished. So, here we go, have a look at this. Here we go then. Dinky Toys speaker van. In uh, the dark blue and the uh, uh, lighter blue hubs, these aren't as light as I'd like to. They are lighter, but they're not showing up that great in the camera. They are a couple of shades lighter. Like I said, I've kept as much of the patina as I could. Uh, obviously, the roof was quite bad, so that had to be done. Um, but the sides and that, I've kept some of the little dimples and dents and that to keep it in keeping. It's an old vintage casting. I think it's going to be quite nice. I've kept the details to a bare minimum. As Dinky did, the bumper and the grill. I have done the additional um, door handles, that's all. Yeah. It's got a, a bare metal polished speaker unit yeah it's just it's it's just straightforward easy one to do so you know it is what it is it's an old one okay then right well thanks for watching i hope you like this one i know it's not complex and got bits and pieces turning and the lights flashing and and everything else but you know it's a restoration of an old dinky toy so it looked nice on my shelf. Okay then, onwards and upwards to the next one. I wish everybody well, and uh, I'll see you next week with something different. Bye for now.